I think we should follow the same rules that we've had in this country under successive governments for, for decades, which is that uh, it, you first would try to seek the consent uh, of parents. So parents, we're, go we're going to ask all parents for consent. And uh, in most cases... But what if they don't give it, is my question. If they don't give uh, consent... And children still want their vaccination. Exactly. So if there's a difference so of opinion between mm -hmm. the child uh, and the parent, mm -hmm. uh, then we have uh, specialists that, let's say, that work in this area, the school's vaccination service. They would usually literally sit down with the parent and the child and try to reach some kind of consensus. If ultimately that doesn't work, mm -hmm. uh, as long as uh, we believe that the child is competent enough to make this decision, then the child's will will prevail. So are 12 to 15-year-olds going to have jabs? Don't know. I haven't got the advice from the, okay, the, from the chief it? medical officers. Um, I, I would expect. I, 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 did, I couldn't put a timeline on them. I think that would have been unfair because they've got to come to their own judgment um, quite independently. Long time. They've had. The kids they've, have gone back to school. Well, the chief medical officers have had about four days so the far. JCVI, of and, course, as we both yeah. know, have had significantly longer than that. You would have thought yeah. that you'd be able to dovetail that back into kids going back to school. Well, the chief medical officers is, is who I'm waiting for uh, now, and uh, I, I want to give them the breathing space. It's their independent view, and uh, and that's exactly what it should be. But I, 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 I would expect to hear from them in the next few days. How do you feel about an October fire break, if necessary? Would you support it? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean by, uh, by that potentially, well, fire break, lockdown, whatever you want to call it, in order to, in, in some form or another, in order to try to stop the virus um, getting legs again going into the winter. Well, I don't think that, uh, that's something we need to consider. You didn't think that last year. Look, look it, it is true that no-one knows the future pathway of this, uh, of this virus. I'm guessing you'd support it. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't even thought about it that as, a, as an option at this point, because I That's think the decisions... Worrying. Well, no, as the decisions that we've made in the last uh, few weeks, and certainly in the time I've been Health Secretary, I think they've turned out to be the right decisions. Uh, we've shown that we the... We were being told to eat out to help out this time last year. Well, <laughs> I, I, was, I wasn't in government this time last year, so you can get a minister in that the, you know, was making whatever decision you want to talk decisions? about. I can talk about the decisions that have been made since I've been in government, and Surely, especially, especially around if health. If it means that it won't, we won't have another wave, you're going to support a fire break, aren't you, obviously? Well, I've, I've told you, I think that what we are, the policies that we followed uh, so far, they're based on the, the best uh, information, the best evidence that we can get. We listen to our experts, uh, uh, of course, as anyone would expect. And so when we made the recent decision to start opening up the country, to move the social uh, distancing restrictions, uh, for example, and other rules, that I think that's turned out to be exactly the right decision.